former Broward School Resource Officer Scott Peterson may take the stand to testify in his own defense today. Yes, he is accused of failing to act and protect the lives of students and teachers during the Parkland shooting. CBS News Miami's Jacqueline Quinn is live outside the Broward County Courthouse with more. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. Yeah, the judge has given him today to make that decision. But before the trial even started, he said he was looking forward to it so that truth could be told. So we could potentially hear from him about that truth if he takes a stand. But again, he has to make that decision this morning. So right now, uh, as we know, he is charged with multiple counts, including felony child neglect uh, for his role in the shooting at the Douglas uh, Marjorie Stone and Douglas High School on Valentine's Day in 2018. He has said that he couldn't tell where the shooting was coming from. That's why he never went in the 1200 building. And that's been part of his defense or the focus of the defense. The state rested their case Wednesday, but they have emphasized that the former Broward Sheriff's deputy had an obligation to slow down the shooter with his years of experience. But Thursday, the defense also called several witnesses, including a BSO deputy and a former Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School sophomore that echoed that others, uh, what others have said, that it was hard to tell where the shots were coming from. When you heard those sounds, did you know right away that they were gunfire? No. Did you know where they were coming from? No. Where did you think that they might be coming from? Um, like, just somewhere straight ahead of the senior line. Now, if convicted of all these charges, he could face 100 years in prison. But again, we are waiting to see if he's going to take the stand today. We'll keep you updated for now. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS News, Miami. All right, Jackie. Thank you.